This is Danielle from Paramount Properties, and this is Sam from um, Beckford Primary School, and Paramount has donated two devices to the school to try to help out students and, and the lack of devices that students have to adequately follow their curriculum. Um, so thanks very much, Sam. Yeah, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Paramount. Um, every device that we receive, every device uh, a family receives makes a huge difference to that family. And it, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it has an impact, such a positive impact on, on their ability to, to uh, make progress within the curriculum and make uh, yeah, leaps with their education, but also for their mental health. And I think it's just, it's really, it's really amazing. So thank you very much. Absolutely. So, so what sort of, um, tell me a little bit about the problem that you're, you're seeing in your school and maybe other schools at the moment when it comes to accessibility to these devices for students? Um, okay, back in, I think, the expectation this, uh, with this lockdown from the government and from us, if they have, is for us, every, it was a bit more relaxed back in March. And it was a kind of the message to parents was do what you can, uh, see, see how much you can do, think about your, think about, uh, you know, don't, it was not too much pressure. But it, for this time, the expectation really is to deliver the curriculum as if it was normal times. So we're trying to sort of, uh, you know, make up for lost time from back in March and, you know, you know, the learning that they missed out on, but then deliver something very similar to what they would be expecting if they were at school now. So it's, it, you know, we are now expecting to have a bit of live learning where we're on Zoom or on Google Meet or we're expected to do lots more videos, lots more. It's meant to really sort of represent what they would get at school. So um, I think they, it, before it was much easier for them to juggle maybe one tablet or one laptop between a family of two, three, four. Um, and they were able to say, right, okay, one child has a go on it, and then another child has a go on it. But now the expectation is to have live sessions uh, with their teacher or small group work or things like that. And, and, and lots of our families are really struggling just, you know, they they might have one or two devices, but if they've got three children, the expectations, right. one child gets online at 9.30 and one child gets on at 10 o'clock, one gets on at 10.30, while the parents also try to work at, at the same time as well. So it really has, it's ramped up the pressure and the expectation on, on, on our community. So if everyone, we've tried to make it as accessible as possible and make it so it's not difficult for children to get online. It's very clear, um, they, um, the lessons are easy to follow, they have online support. But if you have two, three, four children and you have limited devices, then it's it, trying to juggle which child goes on first. And we've timetabled it so they're not all at the same time. But um, lots of the children do their work on a laptop. You know, they type, they type on words or they, you know. So it's really hard to manage. It, it feels like it's really changed from uh, last summer, I mean, we emailed, well, not last summer, you know, uh, May, around May, we, we, uh, we emailed all, we regularly email all our parents and say, do you have a device? And, and back then, everyone said, yes, uh, yes, absolutely fine, we're fine. <clears throat> but with the, with the, the raised expectation, uh, it's no longer fine to have one device when you've got multiple children. So, so really, there's no way around having one device per child at the moment for them to adequately follow their studies. We even have a situation now where we still email parents and say, do you need a device? And then they, they don't reply or they, they'll say, no, we've got a device or we've got two devices. And then one of the children will stop, will not be doing the work. So we'll be saying, what's going on? And they'll say, oh, we haven't got three devices. And so there's still a sort of lack of, you know, sort of under, I think people don't feel like they, if they've got two devices, they can ask for another one. Or if they've got one device, they can ask for another one. So it is, uh, well, I mean, we don't know how long this lockdown will go on for. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know if this is the last lockdown. <laughs> you know, this could be, this could happen again. You know, we have lots of variants coming out, different types of strands of kind of the virus. So we don't know if this, in the, fu in the future, this might become more normalised. So we need to be kind of ready for it. We, we have applied for lots of devices in different ways um, from the Department of Education. We've also invested uh, a significant part of our budget in more devices. So mm -hmm. we've been brand new laptops and they've been going out to uh, children in our family. So we've provided a lot of devices for children. Um, so what's the need like for you at the moment? Are you finding that you have enough or where's, what does the gap look like for you? Siblings thing. I think we, we are offering devices to, I think we've got nearly everyone covered, but it's still what happens every time we think we've got it covered, another one comes in. Someone who didn't mention it before, they come in it. Yeah. 
So could you just comment on, you know, even, even a donation of one device or two devices? So the whole, what we're trying to do is spread the word about the need that our local schools have at the moment um, and how significant the problem is if, if students don't get exactly. access to a device. Um, so yeah. even one device or two devices um, donated, how much of a difference does that make? Well, in a family of two or three, where there are two or three children and working parents, the difference a device can make, can make can mean those children can access the curriculum and their parents can work. And for, for most, we have some parents with more needs which need more support, but for the, the vast majority of our families, that extra device makes all the difference to mean that there's that their children can work independently, their children can access the learning, and then they, because because we can we can do the bit where we make sure it's accessible to the children. But if they're trying to juggle one device between one two between two more than one child, then that's a real challenge. And you know it's it, you know I, I've heard that lots of parents were finding they had to not use their own device, you know, not use their own work computer, not use their own laptop. And and so, some parents I know, including like some of our uh, you know our governors who are like well I you know I have to do my daily work after four o'clock you know they normally work nine to five oh, and wow. I, start work, I start working when the kids stop because I'm giving my child my laptop and so you add one more device and you know if that device can make a huge difference to that family and you know that's that's important 